Hello everyone, welcome to Wi-Fi Learn. In this video, we can see about circuit laws. The first law which we are going to see is Kirchhoff current law. Kirchhoff current law is Kirchhoff's first law that deals with the conservation of charge entering and leaving the junction. Junction in a circuit is a point where two branches are connected. There is a junction or a node where two or three branches are connected. Many branches can also be connected. A junction is formed by connecting two branches together. Okay. If two branches are connected together, that node is termed to be as a simple node and if two or three branches are connected together, that branch is termed to be as a principal node. See in this figure, three branches of elements are connected to a point and that point is termed as a junction or node. It can also be termed as a node. This node is a principal node. If more than three elements are connected in a node, that node is termed as a principal node. So, in this node, Kirchhoff current law is deals with conservation of charge entering and leaving the junction. To determine the amount or magnitude of electric current flowing around an electrical or an electronic circuit, we need to use certain laws or rules that allows us to write down the currents in the form of an equation. The network equation used are those according to Kirchhoff laws. As we are dealing with the circuit elements, we will be looking at the KCL. KCL means Kirchhoff current law. So, Kirchhoff current law is one of the fundamental law used for circuit analysis. It is invented by scientist Gustav Kirchhoff. It is the name of the scientist. His current law states that for a parallel path, that is for a parallel path in a circuit, the total current entering in a circuit junction is exactly equal to the total current that is leaving the junction. This is because it has no other path to go away. This is because the charge or a current which is entering or leaving doesn't have any other path to go. In other words, the algebraic sum of all the current entering and leaving the junction must be equal to zero. So that expression can be given by the summation of current entering I in would be equal to summation of current leaving I out according to Kirchhoff current law. This idea by Kirchhoff is commonly known as conservation of charges. So this Kirchhoff's current law can also be termed or known as conservation of charges. Conservation of charges. It is termed as a conservation of charge since the current is conserved around the junction which has no loss of current. Here in this junction the current is entering and also current is leaving. There is no loss of current. So this law is termed as a conservation of charges. Now let us look into a simple junction. This this junction is termed as a simple junction because oh. this junction is formed by three branch of elements. Here the current entering is I1 and I2 and the current total leaving is I1 plus I2. Here in this junction or this can be represented as node also. In this node the current entering is I1 and I2 and the current leaving is I1 plus I2. So both are same. The current entering would be equal to the current leaving. It is a single junction. Here it is a simple junction, the current entering I1 and I2 would be equal to the current leaving I total. That is summing of I1 plus I2. Okay, if you sum up, that is current leaving is IT and the current entering is minus I1 minus I2. I am representing a leaving current in positive, whereas the current is negative. So, sum, summing of those will get us the value of 0. That is the algebraic sum of current entering and the current leaving would be equal to 0. Or take an example of this junction. It is a principal node. Here, this node or junction is formed by five elements. Five branch of elements are connected together at a junction and that junction is termed as a principal node. Principal node. When branch of three elements or more than that are connected together 
then that node is said to be as a principal node. If two elements are connected, then that node is said to be as a simple node. Why it is a simple node? It has no other path to deviate. It has to move in that direction only. So when two branches are connected together, that node is said to be as a simple node. So in this figure, it is a principal node. According to KCL, the current entering would be equal to the current leaving. The summing of current entering would be equal to the current leaving. Here the entering current is I1, this side the entering current is I3. So summing of that I3 plus I1 would be equal to the current leaving. Leaving currents are I2, I4 and I5. So I2 plus I4 plus I5. If you do entering and leaving current summation, your value would be equal to 0. So I1 plus I3 minus I2 minus I4 minus I5 value would be equal to 0. We can use the simple resistor circuit, parallel connection of resistor circuit to understand the KCL easily. See, this circuit has two resistors which can be equal or unequal which is connected in a parallel. There is a node of B and E. This B and E are the principal node in this circuit. Since in this B and E branch of elements are connected together. This branch, this branch and this branch are connected together in the B and this B and E are termed as a principal node. Where C is a simple node. Why it is simple node? The current from this after the B node has to move only through C only. There is no way paths to take. So that node is termed to be as a simple node where B and E are a principal node. But B is a node where the current is entering and it is split into to I1 plus I2. Right? Here it is a entering node where in the case of E it is a leaving node. This junction this I1 and I2 are added together and it is leaving node. But both are principal nodes only. So this KCL are applied at a junction. So this KCL can also be termed as a Kirchhoff junction law. Kirchhoff junction rule. So, Kirchhoff current law are applied at a junction. So, KCL is also termed as a Kirchhoff junction rule. So, since it is applied only at a junction or for principal node. So, it is also termed as a Kirchhoff junction rule. This figure, as I already told, B and E nodes are principal node. Principal nodes where C is a simple node. We can use KCL to find currents flowing around a more complex circuit. And we hopefully knowing now that algebraic sum of all the current at a node would be equal to 0. With this idea in the mind, it is simple case to determine that current entering at a node and the current leaving at the node. I hope you understood the concept of Kirchhoff current law. We can see in the next video. And if you like the video, please like, share and comment to Wi-Fi Learn. And also, don't forget to subscribe to Wi-Fi Learn. Thanks for watching the video.